HET 192, HVAC Careers, Week 1, Careers. Objectives. This week's assignment will support the HVAC learner to understand different fields in HVAC. Education, higher education, education, trade schools, apprenticeships, union training. Introduction. In the HVACR industry, there are many different career paths that a person can choose to take. Some individuals can move from one to another depending upon education level and experiences. This week we'll review many of the opportunities in the HVACR industry. Residential. Residential heating and air conditioning is normally installation and service. The installation side is where a technician will install a furnace, an air conditioner, a boiler, a humidifier, air filter, and do some simple sheet metal transitions. They will also connect gas pipe, connect electrical to get a unit to operate. Installation is where most potential HVAC persons begin. They usually start out as helpers working with a skilled installation person learning the trade. At the same time going to school to learn about heating and air conditioning, learning all aspects of it. Usually after a couple years, the person is then ready to go out and do the installations on his or her own. Service. Most service technicians started out as installers. By doing that, they learned the basics of the complete heating and air conditioning systems from the ground up. The service technician's job has them traveling from place to place throughout the day, repairing furnaces, boilers, air conditioners, or any other type of HVAC equipment. The HVAC service technician needs to have a great deal of knowledge in overall HVAC, have great customer service skills to be able to talk to a customer, explain to them the situations they're in, and possibly be selling them new pieces of equipment. The HVAC service technician should have a solid education and be certified. Some states require certification, but in the HVACR industry, there are many certifications available for both the service and installation technician through different HVAC organizations, which I'll refer to during the program. Commercial, installation and service. Once again, installation is normally where someone will begin in commercial systems. Commercial systems can range from small rooftop units in a strip mall to large buildings, hospitals, and the like. Commercial installation needs more skills than a regu re regular residential installer. They're dealing in larger pieces of equipment working directly off blueprints to where things need to match up correctly. Installers are pretty much left upon their own to complete a job based off of drawings, diagrams, blueprints. Service technicians in the commercial field will be working on rooftop units or larger air handlers, boilers inside a large commercial structure, again, such as from a strip mall to hospital, large shopping mall, apartment buildings, or whatnot. The service technician has to have a vast knowledge of heating and air conditioning of all aspects, have a greater understanding of electrical troubleshooting due to the complexity of the commercial systems. And the technician should be licensed or gained a certification through a union apprenticeship program, a trade school, or community college. Normally the commercial technician is the tops in the HVAC field bringing in the largest salary. Operations, buildings, and engineering. In operations, which is normally going to be a stationary engineer, they will operate a central plant or smaller plants throughout building, such as a hospital, schools, college, shopping malls. They perform shift work, daily monitoring boilers, chillers, air handlers, 
or other types of equipment to maintain temperature and humidity in the space. Stationary engineers are normally licensed by the location where they're at and through different trade organizations. The stationary engineer has a high responsibility for equipment and the people's safety within the buildings that they're maintaining. Stationary engineering license and testing is available through local community colleges and trade schools. Sales. Retail or wholesale? Retail salespeople work directly for heating and air conditioning companies and they sell equipment directly to either to residential customers or to commercial customers. They will represent a specific brand that their company uses. They will go out, measure jobs, decide what size equipment needs to go there, lay out the installation, and complete the sale with the customer. Their job is critical to keep the smaller companies and larger companies running efficiently. A lot of times sales people come from the service ranks or even installation ranks with their vast knowledge of how to do installations and service and the customer service skills that are brought from that side of the field. In the retail sales, customer service skills are highly required and is written and verbal communication as they're having direct contact with customers. Wholesale sales. These are the salesmen that work with the company from the vendor or supply house. These are the people that keep the heating and air conditioning companies supplied in furnace, air conditioners, humidifiers, parts, and everything needed to perform the installation and service of, of their, their jobs. These salespeople are very knowledgeable and usually have a high level of education. Most of them have been in the industry. Ownership. Ownership is usually the destination for, again, service technicians or installers or even salespeople who feel that they can do this out on their own. They can make a go of it. They see their way of starting a company and going forward and, and being successful, installing furnaces, servicing furnaces, air conditioners, and the like. The owner takes a great responsibility as they're hiring on installers, service technicians, office staff, maintaining all the marketing, the paperwork, payroll, advertising, maintenance of equipment, ordering, stocking of parts. It's a very diverse set of skills, but the person needs to have the ability to communicate well with others, to including customers, their workers. Ownership is usually the last stop for the HVAC service or installation technician. System design. We have a couple type of system designers, equipment designers and system designers. Equipment designers design the furnaces, air conditioners, humidifiers, and how they operate, their size, specifications, and whatnot. We need them to help us put in, get, create newer systems, reduce size of equipment, and make a better product. Equipment engineers usually work for major manufacturers such as Carrier, Train, Lennox, York, Ream, Goodman, and many others. Systems design. System design can be the salesperson actually designing a small system for a residential house up to an actual engineer who's designing systems for buildings such as chillers, piping, cooling towers, air handlers, duct work, boilers, pumping systems to have a complete operating system. This type of system designer or equipment designer 
usually has a bachelor's degree with years of experience of understanding the operations of systems. In summary, education is important to career choices. The HVAC industry is vast with many fields. There are many ways to get started. The key is to have a plan in order to succeed. In the following weeks we will be breaking down different career fields in HVAC giving you an insight into each one of them.